Welcome. We are looking now at um, some different pathologies. We're starting off this month with anterior hip pain. So a lot of people get a lot of sort of hip pain in the front here, quad pain, when they're doing some of the classic Pilates exercises. So I thought I'd just take this opportunity to share with you some of the solutions. And um, Joe wanted to take part in welcoming you all today. And we've also got the lovely Fleur here with us, and she's going to be our demonstration model. So if you are somebody who kind of goes, oh, I don't want to do leg circles, or why does it hurt so much when I'm sitting down with my legs out in front of me on the ground or you know um my i don't feel it in my abs when i'm doing the hundreds and single and double leg stretch all i can feel are my quads burning and it's really painful we're going to hopefully problem solve that for you over the next few videos so bear with us every single day you're going to get a new video that looks at a different aspect of how we're going to problem solve this very common thing that a lot of people feel so we'll first of all just look at um, a, a few just modifications that might help you initially and that might just be enough. So I'm going to say goodbye to Joe. He's probably going to photobomb as we go around. <laughs> and we're going to ask Fleur just to lie down on her back here. Um, so we know that usually if we did an exercise like leg circle, the leg will come up straight towards the ceiling and then we would be doing the movement here right now that can be too much for a lot of people so what i suggest is you first of all start off this exercise from a bent knee so we are shortening the lever so we haven't got that big weight of the leg with leg straight we'll literally just let the leg come up and then we can draw some circles in the hip here as we do that the other thing that we could use is a prop. Now, this is a loop strap, which I prefer to use for this because it doesn't stretch like a TheraBand. So especially if you've got a lot of quad tightness here, um, a TheraBand won't give you much relief because the TheraBand stretches too much. So you want something that's a bit more stable. So a yoga strap or one of my loop straps um, really help to support the joint. So, then you can push your foot into that loop and you can do your movement from here. So you'll notice we've still got the other leg bent as well. That also makes it easier for this leg to do what it needs to do. Um, you can in time straighten that one out. Then you can um, do the whole thing without and see how you go. So you're just going to do your circle here. It's going to reduce the circle. And you're still going to focus on all of those beautiful things like keeping your pelvis nice and level to be able to do the movement as you do your circles. Okay, so using a prop or shortening the lever. Those are the two main things. The other thing I want to say is that remember this quad tightness is not just the only thing we still need to work whole body so although we're looking at this issue in particular remember that rotating the spine mobilizing the lower spine learning to stabilize the pelvis when we're doing um, sort of loaded exercises or abdominal curls and things like that all of that is still important um, let's not get derailed by this one particular issue still work the body whole body because that's all going to contribute but that quad tightness that pain in the quad is going to come from there being a very strong imbalance 